All right, so my last stock photography earnings video is titled Worst Month Ever. This one should be best month in a long time. Um, August was certainly one of my best month in a very long time. Not best ever, but it certainly ranks high. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I wanna discuss my stock photography earnings for the month of August, 2022. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so there's a lot to talk about for August. So let's do a quick overview of that month. So there is no video sales on any of the agencies. Let's get that out of the way now. Um, I did, however, manage to upload quite a few videos to Shutterstock and I uploaded some photos to Shutterstock and Adobe Stock, and I did manage to get some sales from those. Um, there's big updates from IEM, good updates from IEM, updates from Envato Elements, and I checked my Dreamstime account that I haven't uploaded to in about two and a half years or so now. And I noticed that there was some sales from um, August, not a lot, but a couple. Um, so let's start there. Let's start with Dreamstime. So I've only ever uploaded photos to Dreamstime. On Dreamstime, I have 453 photos. And for the month of August, I sold five images. Um, like I said, I, I don't upload to Dreamstime and I, I hate uploading to Dreamstime. <laughs> mainly for the fact that they require you to input a description of the image not just a title but also a description i it's just too much so i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna upload to dreamstime plus you barely make any sales on dreamstime anyway so i don't think it's worth the effort to put in all that work for just that one agency that you're not gonna make any sales on so i've just neglected them anyways let's get to the sales so the first image is one that sells all the time on all of the agencies. And this is the image of a clock on a um, chalkboard with like a dispersion effect, you know, showing time wasting away. That one sells all the time on all of the agencies and there was no exception here. Um, it sold for 35 cents on Dreamstime. I'll put it up now. The next two images are very similar and it's just, you know, pills um, coming out of a pill bottle poured onto one is on a prescription pad and the other is on just like a white background. Um, those also sold for 35 cents. In fact, all of the images I'm going to talk about sold for 35 cents. The next two images are composite. Um, the first one being a caution sign on a chalkboard um, with the word opioids written on it that one sold for like i said 35 cents and the next one is a stop sign on the chalkboard as well it's just a blank stop sign so designers or creators can put whatever they want onto the stop sign there's a similar theme among all of the images that sold on dreams time for for august and that's concerning either prescription drug use or opioids. And that's not surprising considering what's going on currently in the United States with the ongoing opioid epidemic and, you know, rising costs of prescription drugs and all of that. It oftentimes um, pays to not profit from disaster in society, but document what's happening in society. So those were the five images on Dreamstime and in total that came out to be $1.75. Um, nothing outrageous. <laughs> um, I just happened to check Dreamstime and I noticed that there were sales, so I figured I would report on them. Um, so you know that's up a dollar 75 since last month since i didn't make anything on there um, let's move on to the next agency and that will be shutterstock so on shutterstock i have 1448 images and 103 videos shutterstock definitely performed better than it did last month um, not by much well kind of double what it did last month um, but nothing like, you know, pre-pandemic times or even in the middle of the pandemic. Anyways, let's get to it. So my, 
speaking of pandemic, my first uh, image relates to um, the economic stimulus checks that were going out uh, during the, the height of the pandemic there. Um, it's this, you know, it's a majority purple image with lots of question sign and it, it says economic stimulus check saying, you know, when's my next check pretty much. <laughs> um, anyways, that one sold and it, it sells repeatedly and that one sold to, um, in August a couple times for 13 cents. The next two images were fairly simple and they're editorial images. Um, so the first one is I, I just snapped a picture of, you know, me showing Claire in the browser history on Google Chrome on, on the iPhone. And that one sold for 10 cents. The next one was um, back in the days when I had a, a Fitbit Versa, I took an image of the home screen showing all the activities and stuff. And that one also sold for 10 cents. Those two images, by the way, sell all the time. Anything, there, anytime there's anything related to Google in the in the news or anything related to Fitbit or you know Google buying out Fitbit, those images um, will sell. The next image was also very simple, and it's just a lot of post-it notes um, on a fairly blank background, just different colors posted all over the place you know, for designers to put whatever they want on those post-it notes. And that one sold for uh, 19 cents. The last image I wanna talk about is one that I'm, I'm fairly proud to see that it sold. And it's a recent image that I took of a, um, a solar farm. And I, I went out there, I think this one was, I went out there a couple times. I went out at sunrise and I went out at sunset. Um, I think this one was sunrise. Um, anyways, I took a lot of photos that day um, over those couple days. And yeah, I uploaded a bunch to Shutterstock and Adobe Stock and they are selling so a few sold on shutterstock already and a few sold on adobe stock as well i'll get to those uh, momentarily um, but here's the image i'm talking about and that one sold for 79 cents actually i sold a couple of them and it totaled 79 cents but i really like this image i really like the glow of the the sun against you know the the solar panels I think it's a really nice image yeah so as I've said in previous videos you know anything concerning renewable energies alternative energies um, definitely take images of those or videos when you can because they do sell okay so let's get to the total for Shutterstock for the month of August 2022 so I sold 79 images and I made fifty dollars and fifty seven cents and that's up twenty seven dollars and sixty cents from last month so that's that's definitely a positive increase okay let's move on to the next agency and that's a new one and that's um, Envato Elements. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, so before jumping directly into Envato Elements, I want to quickly talk about 2020. Um, this will probably be the last time I talk about 2020. Um, so I did receive my last earnings from 2020 in August, and that totaled $172.00 and nine cents so that added to my total for the month of august i don't really know what images sold or how many images sold um, i just received that payment um, okay so let's talk about envato elements so on envato i have two different profiles i have one that one that i consider to be my main profile and the other to be my secondary profile so what i do is um, when I did have these accounts on 2020, what I would do is I would put my quote unquote best images on my main profile. And because I didn't want to seem repetitive, I would put the ones that didn't make my best cut onto the second profile. So all the images from my photo shoot could earn me money and I wasn't quote unquote wasting any images. 
Anyways, across those two profiles, I have uh, 2,971 images in total on Envato Elements. Um, no videos are, or anything. Envato does their earnings report a little differently than most of the other agencies. They use a subscriber share model and it adds some complexity to <laughs> um, calculating earnings. Um, so I, I don't know how much in a single image sells for, but I, I do know how much that image made for the entire month. So when I'm talking about the image that sold, I'm going to be talking about how much they made in total for that month and not how much each image is sold for. Okay, so let's get to it. So for August 2022 on Envato Elements across my two profiles, I sold a total of 326 images and I have five highlights to go over. So let's get started with those. The first image I want to talk about is this nice, I, well, I think it's nice, uh, nice image that I took of a, uh, a baseball player at a minor league baseball game, you know, holding the baseball just as he was about to go, you know, pitch the baseball. And that one um, in total for the month of August um, came up to $2.56. So if you've watched any of my previous stock earnings videos, this next image will be very familiar. It's a different image, but it's the same subject and that's of a four opter. That one earned uh, $2.67 on Envato Elements. I have lots of images of four opters, so you'll see those coming up a lot in earnings videos. Let's move on to the next image. So the next one is an image that I worked really hard on in Illustrator to make it look real. And I did a bunch of images in this series and it's of metal gears or what appears to be metal gears and they have business words on it such as you know business strategy performance leadership and all of that and these images sell all the time across all of the agencies that they're on um, but for the month of august 2022 this one earned me three dollars and nine cents on envato elements as i said when i was just talking about um the last stock agency, um, anything doing with renewable or alternative energy always sells, and this is no exception. The next image is of solar panels, and I composited, you know, like a, a sunburst effect onto it, and that one total for August 2022, $4.24 on Envato Elements. The next image is a very simple one, and I think if you guys have any time, you should definitely, you know, do something similar to this because these images sell every single month. Um, and it's just a simple uh, photo of the month of the year so on a calendar so i i did one for every single month starting at january and ending at uh december and every month the upcoming month will sell a lot so you know we're in august now um well i'm discussing august now um, so the month of September sold a lot and that one totaled uh, $4.24 on Envato Elements. And that also sells a lot on the other agencies as well. All right, so my highest grossing image for August on Envato Elements is uh, me writing out a check. And I, I think I've showed this a number of times in my previous earnings videos. But this one totaled me $15.36. So I'm fairly proud of that one. All right, so let's get to the total for August 2022 for Envato Elements. So I sold 326 images and I made a total of $86.25. All right, so let's move on to the next agency and that's Adobe Stock. 
So on Adobe stock, I have 1,246 photos and 59 videos. For the month of August 2022, I sold 146 photos. So let's get to the five highlights. The first two images are of solar panels that I took on that same day um, that I talked about previously, and they both sold for a dollar and 20 cents. Um, I'll put up the images now. The next two images are of honey um, being poured onto a spoon. I did this um, not too long ago, and I'm glad to see that these images are selling. Um, I'll put up the first one now, which sold for 36 cents. The next one, I really like this um, one. I really pushed the editing of this one in Lightroom and uh, Photoshop, and I sold three of them in the month of August, and it totaled up to $2.56. The next image is one that I just reported on from Dreams Time, and this one is of the, the caution sign with the word opioid uh, written on it. And that one sold for a dollar and 20 cents on Adobe stock. All right, so let's get to the total for August 2022 for Adobe stock. I sold a total of 146 images and I made a hundred dollars and 39 cents. So not bad. That's higher than last month. So that's up by two dollars and 51 cents from July. All right, so yeah, Adobe's always uh, a consistent performer for me. Oftentimes the saving grace uh, of the month. Okay, but let's move on to the, the star of the show and that's IEM. Okay, so before getting to the star of the show, which is IEM, I just wanna say if you guys are getting anything from the stock photography earnings video, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video and sharing it and ringing the notification bell so you don't miss a video. All right, let's get into it. So on IEM, I have just over 1400 images. And if you've seen my previous earnings report, you know that I complained a lot about IEM, um, not, you know, uh, making their monthly payments. Um, the last report I did, I had two earnings request pending and without a single payout. I am glad to say this month that they paid out all their back payments and contributors are starting to upload again, including myself. And I made some big sales on IEM for August uh, 2022. I only sold 27 images, but that's nowhere reflective of the amount that I, I earned for that month. So let's get to discussing how much I actually made on IEM. So the first image is one that sold on uh, Getty Images through IEM's partner collection, and that's of me a couple summers ago. Um, you know, uh, throwing my daughter in the air um, and catching her, of course. <laughs> and that one sold for $19.25. I really like that image, by the way. The next four images are fairly large sales. And this is why I still upload photos to IEM, even considering, you know, the trials and tribulations that <laughs> they've been causing lately um, but there is a lot of potential on IEM and don't write them off as a potential big earner for stock photography all right so let's get to the first one and the first one is an image of my I think this one sold before I may have discussed it previously but it's of my wife and my son and they're in the living room and they're looking at each other adoringly. Um, and that one sold for $92.75. Pretty impressive. Yeah, that was on the IEM marketplace, by the way. All of the next three to come images were all sold on the marketplace. So the next image, I know I definitely talked about this one previously and that's me and my son out on a nature walk and you know i'm 
it was a self portrait and I'm he's on my back in a back carrying thing and I'm looking back at him smiling and he's laughing um, that one sold also for ninety two dollars and seventy five cents so very nice okay so the next one is a portrait of my wife and my son outside at sunset you know with nice bouquet in the background and that one sold for hundred and four dollars and sixty five cents yep <laughs> there's not much more I can say about that the amount speaks for itself all right moving on to the next one all right so this last one is also I don't know technically a self-portrait I put the tripod up and then I had a remote trigger in my hand and I took the image I was holding my son on my chest and he was drinking from a formula bottle and that one sold for a hundred and four dollars and sixty five cents as well very impressive all right so that brings me to the total for August 2022 for IEM in total I sold 27 images and I made five hundred and eighty eight dollars and thirty seven cents all from image sales so yeah stock photography is not dead but it's not consistent <laughs> I wouldn't write it off as a means of uh, uh, side income while video is definitely the way of the future um, definitely don't stop uploading photos all right let's get to the total for August 2022 and before that I want to say again please consider subscribing to the channel all right, so the total will be from uh, five agencies, Envato Elements, Dreamstime, Adobe Stock, Shutterstock, and IEM, and six if you consider 2020. All right, so from those six agencies, I made $1,000.78, a very good month. <laughs> Um, not the best month ever, but certainly it ranks very high. All right, guys, so that brings us to a close. And in closing, I just want to say that, you know, don't write off stock photography as, as a way to make a decent side, side income. You know, many people will have you believe that stock photography is dead and there is no money to be made. And while it may be true that you can't make a living off of stock photography and you can't probably quit your day job you can definitely make a decent side income while video is the future um, it's not the only thing that buyers are buying nowadays um, so while you should focus on video don't uh, neglect photos because photos still sell more than videos video sells for more but photos still sell more all right so don't forget to like the video comment if you have any questions please comment i will definitely answer them share this video like this video and subscribe to the channel don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss a video all right so until next time have a good one